After commissioning a new yacht, it being a super yacht, a sailing vessel, the owner, together with his design staff, go through various design phases and engineering tasks in order to engineer the vessel to the highest quality standards. This normally ranges from the interior design to the naval architecture. But in this puzzle, there is one missing piece, namely the software and marine electronics architecture, leading on to MARSA, the Marine Systems Software Architecture, the first open reference architecture for the marine industry. Over the years, Marcy Excel, the innovation hotspot based in Malta, has noted the lack of a common platform for the definition and standardization of marine systems. MARSA, Marine Systems Software Architecture, is the first open reference architecture for the marine industry. Over the years, the amount of electronics found on board marine vessels has increased exponentially. Yet, the marine industry, as of today, 2011, is still a closed box. In a closed box, we refer to the fact that SMEs and companies not directly involved in the marine industry are finding it very hard to penetrate such an industry. The marine industry in general is highly segmented, with a lot of small players all competing for their own niche share of the market, with no major stakeholder controlling the entire industry. A typical scenario in the marine industry is that products produced by manufacturer A and manufacturer B are not able to communicate with one another. As can be seen, manufacturer B has produced a multifunctional display as well as a depth transducer. These are able to communicate well over the proprietary closed protocol running above in the year 2000. Yet, a radar produced by manufacturer A is not able to interact with the multifunctional display produced by manufacturer B due to the closed protocols as well as the standards which are not able to support such a high bandwidth. This typical scenario is leading on to major difficulties in the marine industry as yacht owners are tied and locked into a particular manufacturer in order to guarantee that all the electronics integrate seamlessly with one another. On board a typical yacht, we find multiple platforms and communication networks, ranging from the network used for navigation to that used for control and that used for music and entertainment. The separate networks are not able to communicate with one another. In addition to the lack of interconnectivity, the networks add weight on board the boat and lack redundancy between one another. The current state of electronics on board yachts, as of today, is that a typical hardware device, it being a multifunctional display or standalone device such as a fish finder, is composed of two main elements. The hardware, which varies from ARM to Intel processors, as well as the software, which is embedded above the hardware. When we talk about the software, we refer to the operating system as well as the software components running above the operating system, which offer the services. As can be noted, the hardware as well as software is therefore locked and tied down to a particular device, not allowing the hardware or operating system to be used by other services on board the vessel. On a typical multifunctional display or screen found on board a yacht, one is not able to display HD movies or HD charts or music, as the device is locked to a particular service as illustrated previously. In addition to this, HD movies, for example, are not able to be streamed on such multifunction displays due to the bandwidth limitations of the network, networks used on board marine vessels, such as NMEA 2000. With the current set of the marine industry, if the yacht owner experiences an electronic problem on board, he is not able to go to the local IT superstore and purchase a new software component or hardware device off the shelf. He, on the other hand, has to go to an expensive marine IT store which offers products of the same quality but at exponentially higher prices. As no reference architecture for the marine industry and marine electronic systems exists, with the current setup and architecture in place, a vessel is only able to achieve redundancy by duplicating the hardware devices. 
A typical example would be duplicating the services found on board the boat by having two multifunctional displays instead of one. This would increase redundancy for sure, but it also increases costs and there is no guarantee that both devices won't fail at the exact same time as they are based on the same hardware and same software components. Designing and engineering a skyscraper, the engineers and contractors do not wake up one morning and decide to build a building without any concrete architectural plans, but they firstly get the architectural plans from the architects and use these as a blueprint for the development of the skyscraper. On the other hand, in the marine industry, this is seldom the case, as mostly manufacturers of electronic products simply go from idea to code with no architectural process in between. This approach leads on to low quality and a lot of bugs being resolved by the end users in the daily use of the products. In addition to this, with such an approach, there is no guarantee that the product will be fit for use in a couple of years' time. Now that we've highlighted the major defects and faults of the marine industry, it's time to introduce MARSA, the Marine System Software Architecture, which is going to revolutionize the marine industry with an open reference architecture which will encapsulate and tackle all the challenges identified in the current state of the marine industry. When we refer to MARSA, we refer to a reference architecture. Now, this reference architecture is to be used by all segments of the marine industry, ranging from OEMs to SMEs to students and the auto owners. The beauty of MARSA is that it is an open reference architecture, which means that it is free for all to use and driven by the entire community, which consists of individuals from around the world, them being software experts, designers, graphic designers, or entrepreneurs. In addition to the auto owners, another very important customer segmentation of MARSA would be the marine electronic manufacturers, as they are able to use MARSA to reduce costs. MARSA per se is the first open system in the software architecture for the marine industry. By open we mean that it is free for all to use and it allows a marine vessel to remain technologically updated. MARSA as a concept is driven by a community of individuals from around the globe, all pushing and pulling in order to bring MARSA up to speed with current practices in the marine industry. MARSA is a reference architecture, therefore this means that MARSA is technology independent. MARSA offers a blueprint which allows manufacturers, OEMs, students and marine electronic manufacturers from around the globe to grab the MARSA blueprint and from it generate various instances and implementations of MARSA based on their own needs and requirements. From a very high level of abstraction, MARSA can be looked on as an engine, composed of a set of gears and mechanisms. The OEM, yacht manufacturer or interested party using the MARSA reference architecture and its engine will input a set of ideas and requirements, which in turn will alter and shift the gears and produce a reference architecture custom made to that OEM or manufacturer, resulting in an instance of MARSA, which could be used together with additional data and knowledge such as code in order to create an implementation of the instance. With the Mars reference architecture, the process described previously is now turned upside down and rather going, than going from idea straight to code, with the MARSA, the Mars process is going from an idea to using the Mars reference architecture to extract the Mars instance suited to the OEM manufacturer and using that MARSA instance in order to generate an implementation of the reference architecture. Interested parties using MARSA are able to benefit from numerous advantages, ranging from shorter time to market as well as increased quality. These benefits are experienced as the MARSA reference architecture is validated and evaluated as well as maintained by the entire community. This means that an interested party wanting to use MARSA for their own product is able to use the Mars reference architecture from which generate an instance and implementation of the architecture which is already based and evaluated by the community. With Mars in place, we are moving away from the current stuff of the marine industry in which each service is tied to a particular hardware device. 
With Marissa in place, each yacht is composed of a private cloud, onto which we deploy a set of services, which can be run on all the available hardware components, running ranging from Linux servers to plug computers running Windows. Therefore, with Marsa, we are moving on to software as a service rather than the hardware encapsulating the service. The concept of Marsa is to have a set of main building blocks which compose the Marsa footprint, which ought to be deployed on every computing device. The footprint, composed of devices such as the middleware, will be able to communicate to the other devices upon which the Marsa middleware and footprint is embedded. With such a setup in place, the two devices are able to communicate over various standards ranging from Ethernet to NMEA to other standards available across the globe. With such an approach, we are able to use open standards and achieve seamless interoperability between the devices. Marsa, as a reference architecture, is pushing for the integration of COTS components with normal components on board the vessel. This means that, in contrast to the scenario described previously, a yacht owner experiencing a fault to one of his marine electronic systems on board the vessel is able to go to the local IT hardware store and purchase a device of the shell, and then simply integrating it into his own vessel. This results in much higher quality and less costs for the end owner. Marissa, as a reference architecture, will innovate the way in which we innovate, as well as standardizing what is unstandardized, in addition to this, opening what is closed. The Marissa community is composed of individuals from around the globe, it being a software engineer from San Francisco, a pro sailor from Brazil, a designer from South Africa, or a surfer from Australia all come together with the Mar within the Marsa platform and community in order to solve challenges together, bringing the marine industry forward through an open reference architecture which is able to be used by all entities and individuals around the marine industry. In order to get the Marsa project off the ground, we're going to be applying for FP7 funding. In order to apply for FP7 funding, we need a consortium of members interested and willing to push forward the Marsa project. Interested parties for the Marsa project range from universities to commercial institutions. The way forward for the marine industry is definitely Marsa.